everyone. My name is Jason F. Suarez po and I am from Divine Child Academy. And I think it would be the best po to recommend a book wherein uh, people or young readers would love to read uh, books about po loving the environment, the community, and the people po. Nice, thank Ayan. you. Very interesting and very curious in reading. So I really congratulate uh, your link print and media for delivering and displaying this kind of reading materials. It's very superb and excellent. Mabuhay! Okay. My name is Marana Shalom Daliego and as of the moment, my favorite author is uh, Khaled Hosini. And then uh, he wrote three books that I uh, truly finished them all. So it's, uh, uh, what do you call this? Uh, Kite Runner. Next is Thousand uh, Splendid Suns. Next is uh, The Mountain's Echo. Everything is a, a, a tragedy or dramatic, but at the same time, uh, it's timely because it happens within war and then women oppression and then uh, abuse and violence. How, what makes it timely? What makes it timely because uh, it still happens. It still happens in parts of Iran, Afghanistan, where, you know, they're war-stricken or they still haven't been able to uh, get up and their economy did, uh, did not work. And then at the same time, women or young girls are still being married off, like early age. And that's what your author is currently writing. Uh Yes. Uh, you, uh, it's uh, written on Thousand Splendid Sons, the second book. Nice. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hello, my name is Gwenevi. Um, I am a comic artist and as well as a writer. And some of my uh, recommendations, I guess a lot of them are uh, Philippine comics. So some of them would include, first of all, the, the anthology that we're in right now, the Gigil Anthology, um, but as well as, for example, some of the greats, uh, Emiliana Campelan's um, Dead Balagtas sa Dagat at Lupa, uh, Sayaw ng Dagat at Lupa, as well as uh, Randy, Randy, this one. I actually have the book right now. If you ha happen to find it at SDCC or any comic um, conventions, it's Randy Valiente's Seeing Killing, as well as Lucia Soul's uh, Lucia Dreaming. Those are my comic book recommendations. I only have one comic recommendation. My name is Juno. Right. Um, I'm also a comic artist. Uh, we were here for Gigil Anthology, and I would really love to recommend The Orange and Other Poems by Wendy Cope. She's one of my favorite poets, and um, the collection really talks about the joy of. Well, it's really about joy, so and love and life, and that's it. One of my favorite lines there is, "I love you. I'm glad I exist." Yes. Thanks guys for having me here. I'm so excited about this book, uh, Jesus, Jesus Here. Actually, I found this book uh, in social media, especially with TikTok, and I'm glad I was able to visit on this shop, you, your, you are linked print and media. So yeah, I'm so excited going home, about to read about this book by Mr. David Jenkins. So guys out there, grab a copy, let's go. My name is Frankie Ignacio po, and my favorite book is actually the Bible po, since I was born as Catholic po. Um, my favorite book to be specific in the Bible is the book of Revelation since it's so interesting for me. And um, I'm always, uh, I'm always, kasi over, I'm always overthinking po tungkol po sa ano mangyari po in future po. Kaya hanggang ngayon po, Binabasa ko pa rin po yung Book of Revelation po to know more po about po sa mangyari in future. Hello, my name is Saigna Cruz and my book recommendation is um, Enslaved by His Touch. It's a uh, new, new release downstairs in IMAC um, um, and it's Mano. Other recommendation then it's House of Saul. He, he, writes it, he wrote it. Um, it's a really good story. All of his story, all of her story is good. Oh, she's a female writer. Yes. Oh. Why do you like her? That's I know because her all of her story, all of her forty story that I read, everything is good. Oh. Yes. Oh. That's why she's my favorite author. Oh. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Po. Hi, my name is Jermaine. You can call me Maine, and my, 
Yeah. Um, can you like share what's your favorite book? Uh, the favorite book of mine is Butterflies and Memories. It's about a poetry. Uh, the specific poetry that I really liked about this book is the one that says that I cannot see God, since as a person who is a Christian, I believe that even if we cannot see God, as stated in the poetry, He is still there. You can still feel His presence, even though we aren't able to see Him. Sometimes you can talk to Him without even able to see Him, and while talking to God, you can really acknowledge that oh he do, he is true he is still alive even though we cannot see him physically okay thank you hello uh, name my name is Billy and I'm here at is it your link I'm gonna hear at the UR link booth at MIBF to check out this book by Reginald Nelson the African arrangement I've read his other books Disaster of Boucher and Signals from Saipan, and I really like the genre of political fiction that he does. It really brings about topics that relatable that are relatable to re real world conflicts, and I think this this sort of genre is important. And his writing is inspired, and I'm really excited to read this book, The African Arrangement by. Reginald Nelson, dentist from Saipan. Uh, what brings me here to MIBF? Uh, I've always loved books, so knowing that there's this big book fair, book fair here, here in Manila, so of course I would have to go. And I'm excited to look at the variety of books available, fiction and non-fiction as well. Thank you. Hi, my name is Dio Saraza, and I'm a violinist. And I'm excited to be here in Manila International Book Fair. Uh, I've heard about this fair uh, through social media, TikTok, uh, so I was very much excited and one of the authors that I'm very much uh, looking forward to reading is uh, Reginald Nelson's The African Arrangement. Uh, I think this is a very exciting book and I'm just very happy to be in this Manila Book Fair.